I'm fairly certain that you have heard of star charts or reward charts before now. The traditional form of star chart is incredibly limited and although you may have had some success before with star charts, I reckon that your success was fairly short lived. Wikipedia defines a star chart as Star charts are often known as chore charts and in most cases a star or sticker is put up on the space if a chore is completed. And if it is not completed or only partially completed, a sticker is not put up. This traditional model is only one model and in this course I am going to show you at least six powerful models. We will be covering the observational model, the goal model, the perseverance model, the consistency model, the process model and the gamification model. So if you have only used the traditional model, then your worries and concerns were probably similar to mine and may look like this. My child only does this because of a prize or a reward and not because they really want to do it. In this course, I will give you the specific words and in what order to say them that will change how your child experiences star charts. It will give your child a sense of internal desire and motivation. I will show you how to move from prizes and rewards to celebrating self-discipline and perseverance. Sometimes my child loses motivation halfway through and then just gives up on the whole process and then I'm back to square one. The perseverance model I will show you in this course will prevent this from happening. The star chart is great, but once they have achieved the reward, then their behavior returns back to what it was before because now they have no motivation to continue. The consistency model I will show you will unlock the situation until the new behavior becomes a habit for them. Traditional star charts work well on my young children, but on my older children, those that are 8 years and above, they just roll their eyes. Yep, this is going to happen if you use the traditional model and you don't know the specific wording that you can use for any age, from youngster to teen to adults. Yes, these models work extremely well for adults as well. I am going to take you through these models from the simplest ones to the most complex forms. I really do encourage you to try out the simple ones first before attempting the rest. In this way you will have time to get used to the star charts and the specific wording that will set you on the road to success.